This is Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. In this first clip, we've got a Karen who's upset at the neighbors for cutting down their tree because it so happens to partly go into the Karen's yard, the Karen thinks it's hers. She's quite clearly on one massive power trip and she would have learnt not to do that if she was subscribed to Completely Stupid. Let's hope that you guys are too. <laughs> In this next clip we've got a Karen who's upset about some facilities at this, I'm assuming is a pool slash local river spot. I'm not 100% sure on that part of it because it's not familiar to me. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think this is. To get to a place. So y'all really need to provide handicapped parking. I think by law y'all have to. In this next clip, we've got a drunk Karen who's eagerly upset that people are parking on her street waiting for the school bus. Somebody, a senior citizen might be concerned about somebody in start in front of her house. <laughs> that might be funny to you. I, I live don't here. Care what anything is about you. <laughs> I live here. I do. Well, with it. I you want to see my ID? Good. You want to see my ID? Will that make you feel better? No. Okay. Well, I'm then not go on saying in. that about you. Shit. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. I, you're staying you at my door for what? You do have a problem. You're standing I'm at my door for what? You're taking you pictures of my car for what? When I came out and asked you, why are you parked here? It doesn't matter. I have I every here. right to say that. Mm. And you're photographing me to get on CNN. Good for you. I'm putting you on scene. Who watches that? Lady, you're drunk. Oh, can you please go? No, I can't. You're drunk as hell, man. Whilst I've had my own grievances with people parking in streets for school related reasons and parking in front of my driveway, uh, at least in this clip of this perspective we've got here, the current seems to come from across the road. So they're not in front of her driveway, and I assume that at least it makes sense that the driveways aren't exactly in the precise same spot. There's a slight alteration, so they're most likely not in front of the driveway on this side of the road either. So I don't get why this Karen has such a massive issue over it. Uh, actually, it makes sense. The title of the video, they're entitled. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who loses it over Lemonade Stand. All right, so and you're just letting this your woman has stolen here? my children's money. No, from their lemonade no, 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 stand, no. which they were All running. I, was get them to stop I let my money. kids do a lemonade stand today. Yeah. And is for whatever okay? reason, is this woman okay came to up to them pandemic? and stole the money that they've that made. Other people and they ran right in now? and you told me that this crazy today. lady, listen to me, a look crazy lady doing. stole my How kids. You call me crazy? Look, you at look at what you're doing. Be reasonable. You're getting cups of lemonade. If you want to sell lemonade, sell it in a container. Don't just have open Why would you steal the kids' money? Hey. Look at, look at what you're doing. You have oh, ice open here. They're just grabbing it with their hands. They're putting it in these cups. Is that reasonable? You've stolen my phone now. No, no, no. I want you to understand you my what phone. you're doing here. Do you even live here? 
Is this? I haven't this seen you around house, before. And my kids come here frequently. I'm sure you've seen them. No. If you live in the area. Do you live in the area? I do. I live right around the corner. Okay. What's your name? My name's Stacy. And what's your name? Look, Stacy. Oh, you've so you don't me. even want to share because you're you are actually concerned about what you're doing. You feel bad because you're just selling lemonade and open my cups. Kids, and that's not acceptable. It's acceptable. It's no, fine. it's not. You've stolen their money. You're that's not even not, wearing a mask. Your kids weren't even wearing masks. I've been vaccinated. Are have you been kid, vaccinated? I have been vaccinated. Have your kids been vaccinated? I would like you to Do put their money back. Do they go to school? I would like you to put their money back. Fine. You have stolen Fine. little children's money. I didn't steal their money. I got them to stop selling lemonade Stacey. in an open container out here. Do you know other people live around here? There's elderly people around here. I would like, Do you I would understand like how unsafe back. this is? Do they have hand sanitizer? Are they washing their hands? I don't think that your kids or you care at all about I think the that you're insane. Here. And I think that if you were to actually stop, I think you're probably a nice person. And if you were to stop no, and look at yourself, you what you've done is stuff. a completely you're ridiculous not thing. About anybody else here. I think what you've done is completely beyond the pale. No. You've come up to children no, no, and no. stolen their money. I told them that what they're doing is unacceptable and we don't want it's that. It's perfectly here in this fine. Community. Look, I'm obviously not gonna We're get anywhere talking really to you. I would like you to just leave. Safe. And what are you doing? I would like it if you Your just kids left aren't now. Even washing their I've, hands. I've heard what you've had to say and I'd like you to leave. I will leave. Will you pack up what you're doing? Absolutely How not. Do you go it's back completely home? fine. You don't even live here. <laughs> my, this is unacceptable. It's perfect. I'm my cousin lives here she watches the kids it's completely fine we're well within our rights yeah. to have the kids sell some lemonade yeah but they're doing it unsafely it's if not unsafe it safely, it's not a big you deal you need to have them wash their hands you need to have them okay, have okay. Them so call the health inspector they've made six dollars two of them from me good then hopefully okay good so i'd like you to leave early enough that they aren't spreading it to they're other people they're just having fun okay it's not stop. a big deal no you need to it's leave not a big deal. you need to take so a deep breath they, don't need five and you need to just leave then stop what you're doing here it's, it's not okay it's not a problem it really isn't everything's fine okay we're just you selling some lemonade okay i've made it very clear that we don't want this here you need to pack up and leave i want to know your full name again stacy okay stacy so i want you to know that if you ever talk to my children again i will call the cops i don't want I'm you to ever come up to them or talk to them children. again they're going to come back out here stop stacy listen hazard. I've heard what you had to say. I want you to listen to me for a sec. They're going to come back out here. They're going to keep having fun. No. And I want you to talk no. to them again. No. No, this no. is not your right. It's not it your... So I've got a few things about this clip. First off, I've got to give the guy props for keeping us cool this entire time throughout that entire conversation. And what I can guess based upon the fact that they're vaccinated is either very late 2020 or in 2021, so rules were a little bit lax, at least from my knowledge, remembrance of America. But I don't think that open containers, like, that, there's nothing wrong with that. I do feel like that they maybe should have had some hand sanitizer there, like, that does make sense just to do, regardless of anything. But other than that, I don't really see anything wrong with this. Like, what? <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a Karen at Starbucks who's clearly upset at something, so decides to start attempting to trash the store, but gives up pretty quickly. Hey! Karen! You seriously need to stop you, that's fucked up. Go. That's like the quickest way to guarantee that you'll probably get arrested because you're not just being an asshole, you're trashing someone's stuff that isn't even yours. Either way, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and make sure to subscribe, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!